Hey everybody, this is the September Allure Beauty Box and I am gonna show you what is inside of here. There is a Cleo Noir eyeliner, an NYX brush, La Roche sunscreen, dry conditioner instant moisturizer for your hair, an LMS Collagen Cleansing Balm, there is an Anastasia Moonchild Egg Glow Kit and a sheet mask. Thank you all for watching and if you want to see individualized reviews of each of these products, check out my other videos. This review is for Dry Conditioner by Waterless. I had actually never heard of a dry conditioner before getting this product in my Allure box this month. So take a look and see how that turned out and then I'll give you a pro tip at the end. I'm going to spray this in. It definitely made my hair look shinier and made it feel softer and it gave it a little bit of definition that it didn't have. So um, I think it's a pretty good product. I would definitely not put it in your roots though because it is a little bit oily. Update, since I got this product, I have fallen in love with it. I have a new routine on my non-wash days, which is to use a dry shampoo at my roots and then a dry conditioner from the length of my ears down. And it is amazing. I won't even tell you how many days I went not washing my hair using this method, but it was incredible. Hey everybody, this is a quick review for the La Roche Matte Finish Non-Whitening 100% Mineral Sunscreen with SPF 50. You can see here that uh, once you get it rubbed in, it really does have a nice natural finish and it does not leave any kind of white film on your skin. It just blends right in and it would be easy to put a base over this or to wear it plain. I typically can't tolerate most sunscreens they make my skin itch and they cause me to have little breakouts I did end up trying this out on my skin and am very excited to report back that I had no itching no irritation and so I'm excited because I finally have a sunscreen that I can work into um, my routine so hopefully if you have sensitive skin like I do this is also a win for you this Cleo Noir twist up eyeliner in um, a purple shade was unfortunately not a win for me I actually had a really tough time getting it to even show up on my eyelids I tugged I pulled I pushed and just could not get a line or really much color on there so uh, kind of just a pointless product for me hey everybody this review is for the Anastasia Moonchild glow kit this palette has six different sheer shades of metallic they can be used as a highlighter on your eyes lips cheeks body wherever you want to put it you can use these individually or layer them for different effects you can see here it only took me a small amount to get a good glow going this turned out to be such an awesome brush for applying contour. The brush I was using before I got this in the box was a little bit more fanned out and I didn't realize that I wasn't getting the contoured look that I was trying to get because it was just applying too much product all over and this one really allows you to apply it just precisely where you need it and then blend out from there. So I highly recommend this brush. I think it's great. It's affordable and just a really good overall product. What I've got here is the Wander Beauty Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. This is a sample size and I'm going to go ahead and give that a try. I really love the curved brush on this mascara. It helps me get a lifting effect and spread the product from my lash line all the way to the tips of my lashes. I really like this formula. It didn't glob or clump going on and I did give it the test of the night and it didn't end up flaking or smudging onto my brow bone, so that was also a plus. This was a win for me.